What's up, boxing bros and bro S? It's a bro hammer here coming at you live from the bro hammer fitness dungeon. So, uh, let's talk about a little Roy Jones, excuse me, Mike Tyson versus Roy Jones. Tyson has top ability, he is the A side. Um, I did a prediction video earlier, but that was months ago, so I wanted to do a prediction video. Just watch the weigh in. Uh, Mike weighed in at a slim 220 pounds. Roy came in at a little flabby 210 pounds. I was a little surprised by the physique, but obviously um, Mike is a naturally bigger person. He always has been. Roy walking around weight was probably around 185, 190. Um, I figured he was gonna come in at about 200 pounds, but he came in at 210. I don't know, maybe he thinks the extra weight will help him take a punch. But anyway, let's get to the prediction. So this is being um, sanctioned as a quote unquote exhibition fight. A lot of people think that once Roy and Mike get in the ring, that those rules are gonna be thrown out the window and they're gonna fight for real. You know, last time Mike fought it was 15 years ago. Roy fought as late as 2018. Um, but you know, that was against a no-name guy. Um, so it's gonna be very inter interesting to see Mike Tyson back in the ring, being that it's been so long since he was in the ring. And the last time he was, he just didn't have the love for fighting anymore. And now he seems like he has that fire again. Everybody's seen the training clips, you know, where they put all the animal growls and tiger sounds in there and everything while he's hitting the pads. Um, Roy's had to show his training clips, you know, showing his blazing speed and whatnot. So it's gonna be very interesting. Now, this is my prediction, okay? If Mike does not get Roy out of there within three rounds, it's Roy's fight to lose, okay? Why am I saying that? Well, like I said before, as Floyd Mayweather will we'll say, uh, like I said before, Mike has not fought in 15 years. He has not been in the ring in 15 years. That's not just ring rust, that's ring decay pretty much as somebody else put it. Not only that, um, he also ballooned up to about 300 pounds, you know, not too many years ago. Mike has not been in any type of shape for years. He just recently got back down. He got himself into shape. You know, hats off to him, you know, getting yourself in shape at 54 years old, he looks amazing. But how much of a role is that going to play stamina-wise? For Roy, he's been fighting. You know, he's been sparring. He's been training people. His last fight was 2018. That was two years ago. So there's going to be some ring rust for him, but not as much as it is for Mike. Obviously, the power difference is night and day. Mike Tyson was one of the most ferocious heavyweights of all time. While Roy did move up to heavyweight, he started his career at junior middleweight, actually. His first fight was at 155 pounds. Now, even though you know he went on to win the heavyweight title, he's a smaller guy, so obviously uh, Mike has a power advantage. Roy has a speed advantage. I just think if, if Mike doesn't get him out of there within the first three rounds, that stamina is gonna become an issue for Mike Tyson. The ring rust is gonna become an issue. And being that Roy has fought recently, and he's kept himself in some type of shape, boxing shape, that he'll take over the fight and he'll get an easy points decision. Can he hurt Mike Tyson? It's possible, but it's gonna be more so uh, an, an accumulation of punches. I don't think he's gonna be able to knock out Mike with one punch. I would be very surprised if he did. Now, Mike could definitely take him out with one punch. I, I mean, I honestly think even at 54 years old, Mike Tyson could knock out one of the top heavyweights if he was able to land. So it's gonna be interesting to see if Roy can avoid those shots, that early barrage, because you know, for 30 seconds of a round, 20 seconds of a round, we're gonna see the old Mike Tyson, that's what I believe. So can Roy last for those 20 or 30 seconds till Mike gets tired and then take over? That's what's gonna happen in the first few rounds. We're gonna see a little barrage for Mike, okay? So that's my prediction. I know I'm kinda of like, saying both guys are gonna win, but if it goes past three, I got Roy winning, okay? So personally, I think Roy's gonna win. Now, I'm a little biased. Roy Jones is my favorite fighter of all time. Um, pound for pound, he's one of the best boxers of all time, but Mike Tyson is the most ferocious heavyweight, one of them of all time. So um, yeah, I got Roy winning if it goes past three. Within three, it's Mike winning. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. As always, share, like, comment, and subscribe. It's a bro hammer. Signing out.